What is going on you guys? Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Figmac. Uh, another tip and trick here. Um, it's a super lightweight version of the Figma desktop app that delivers a more natural Mac experience. Um, some key things to note here. Um, uh, the usability of this and uh, just it being very very performant from my experience using it um, I've been building some some design systems um, alongside some team members and some files have gotten very very big and um, utilizing Figmac has made it much more convenient and there are some unique features as well as uh, being able to open Figma files from the finder directly when once you've downloaded them and also utilizing the touch bar for those of you who have one of the newer versions of the MacBook Pro. And of course, <clears throat> like some security features and, and some other stuff, feel free to reference this website as well. Um, the link is in the description. Um, all you gotta do to get started is click download and then you just click this download button and you type in your email address. And then once you've typed in your email address, um, you could also opt in or out of this updates. I don't like getting random email updates, but anyways, you download it and once you've installed it, but anyways, once you've installed FibMac, um, you should be getting this application right here. Um, again, FigMac. Once that loads. And once there you go, you have FigMac there and I'm going to log in. And now we're on FigMac here and I'm all logged in. As you can see, this is FigMac. Uh, it's, a, it's a great, it's just great to use. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, if you're looking for something, if you're, if you're looking to load your pages faster, just use something much more lightweight. FigMac's size itself is only 1.5 megabytes. And um, yeah, I mean, that's the tip and trick of the day. I hope you guys found this useful. Try it out. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks folks.